I decided that I haven't really cooked anything in a while, so I'm really going to try cooking mashed potatoes here, right? Like this. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Now this is going to be a recipe from Rachel Ray. It's over there on my laptop, and there's bacon involved, there's chives involved, and other ingredients that I don't really have. I've got the bacon, and I've got the potatoes, I've got milk, salt, things like that. So we're gonna get started, and we're gonna start with boiling some potatoes. But before we get started with boiling potatoes, we got to, well, you can see right here, first we've got to wash the potatoes, and then we've got to peel the potatoes. Now this probably would have been a really smart idea to go upstairs to my neighbors and borrow, what is it called, a potato peeler. That probably would have been a really smart idea, but I didn't think about it until now. I'm just going to peel these potatoes in the only way I know how, with a knife and my hands. So, let's get started with this. I also don't have a cutting board, so, you know. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't wash them. Maybe we, could, maybe we could wash it afterwards. I really don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna figure this out, guys. We're gonna figure this out. If I could make hamburgers without killing myself, I can make mashed potatoes. Who's cutting potatoes? I'm cutting potatoes, making potatoes. I've also never made mashed potatoes before. That should also really be stated. I've never made mashed potatoes before. I've seen my dad make mashed potatoes, I've seen my mom make mashed potatoes, I've seen people in my family make mashed potatoes. I've never made mashed potatoes. So, this is gonna be a really fun experience, guys. Really fun. That's good enough, right? This is good. This is good enough, right? Why not? I really should not be looking at the camera while cutting a potato. Oh, I almost cut myself. All right, potato number two. Kind of ready. It kind of works. So we're going to do it with what we've got. All right, next step is to actually get some water. And we're going to boil these potatoes. A pot of cold water. The recipe says to put on medium heat, put the potatoes in a medium saucepan and cover with cold water. Oh, that's totally fine. Oh, maybe I should dump some of this water because if it's gonna be boiling. All right, well, they're gonna be sort of covered in water a little bit because if I put any more water, it's gonna start to boil over and I don't want that to happen. All right, and it says put the potatoes, I'm reading right here, put the potatoes in a medium saucepan and cover with cold water. Bring the water to a boil and season with salt. So I'm just gonna let this boil and then I'm gonna put the salt and then it'll be done in 15 minutes. So I'll meet you guys when these potatoes are done. Okay, the potatoes, I don't think you could see them. They're right here. They seem to be kind of done. It's said to cook until they're like tender or like softish and it's been 15 minutes. I gave them just a little bit more time because they didn't really seem soft, you know, enough to mash. Um, but now they do, so I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna carefully, carefully, oh my goodness, carefully drain this. So here I go and if the smoke alarm goes off because all the steam that's rising, Sorry in advance, so... Mm. I don't think you can see me over here, but it's like I'm getting like a... Like a... whatever those are called. Like a facial steam face thing or whatever. With all this steam that's rising up into my face. In my face. Alright, almost got all the water out. Alright, the potatoes are here. I got, like I said, two of them. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Um, now, I don't have a potato masher, but I've got a whisk. So, we're going to take these, mash this potato thing, and we're going to, I guess, mash these potatoes into something. Maybe I can cut them up a little bit more. Ooh, look at that. Look at how I can cut through this. Ooh, I'm cutting through these like butter, which you're gonna need. You're gonna need butter and milk and cheese. The recipe also technically did call for bacon. I don't know if I really feel like making bacon right now. Um, I don't know, I don't even know if I brought it up at the beginning of this cooking thing, this video, but uh, part of me really doesn't feel like making 
bacon. I'm just gonna go for the making of the mashed potato. I think I'm gonna have to try boiling these just a bit more. They don't seem ready. So I'm gonna let these boil for just a little bit more. I put them back in there. That's water sizzling, don't mind that. I'm gonna let these boil for a little bit more and then I'll try this again. Got the mash. All right, you can totally tell that this took a lot longer than it should have because now the sun is starting to come in and it's setting and it literally, I don't even know how much longer it took. Let's just say that I was able to finish one writing a whole entire script for my class. Like basically like writing like four more pages. But now I believe it's done because they are feeling very soft so I can hopefully start to mash them. So let's do this draining process again. So let's bring it over here and let's drain this puppy. Looks like we've actually got something to work with and I'm actually going to use my tongs to bring them transfer over here. Oh yes, this is seriously what I'm talking about. I know it's really, really hard to see, but they're soft and they're about to get mashed. Oh, look at that. It's mashing, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. I love it. Right, now, I did call my, my mom and like she says that my dad puts in milk, so I guess, all right, we'll put it in milk. I think the recipe also calls for buttermilk. I don't know what that is. Is it butter? Is it milk? I may never know. I've got milk right here. I've got butter. So, buttermilk? I think it's just like a really creamy milk, honestly. I'm gonna take this cheese, and I'm going to tear here like it's telling me to. Oh, tear here. Oh, that's dumb, okay. How happy am I? I'm so, so happy. So, so happy. I'm gonna add some cheese in there because Rachel Ray said to add cheese. So I'm gonna do what Rachel Ray said. And then she said, fold it. I'm so glad I did not take the time to make bacon because this just seriously does not need bacon right now. Like, these mashed potatoes are perfectly fine on their own. Just add in some salt right in there, even though I technically salted it before. Whatever. So hold on for a second while I stir these. Guys, look! I made mashed potatoes! I don't know how good that actually really looks, but here. Come on, tap. Look at that. Mashed potatoes. I actually really want to take a bite out of this. Oh, this is so hot. This is so hot, guys. It's hot! Because I made this, guys. I made this. I made mashed potatoes. Okay, they're not like the best mashed potatoes. But, if I added in, like, a lot more salt, which I'm, like, about to do right now, like, I'm so happy. Who's happy? I'm happy, because I'm so, so happy. It took a lot, it took a while, but, oh my god, I'm so happy. I am going to now actually put this in the fridge, because I have to go to the library to go do homework. And then I will come back, and I will eat these mashed potatoes up like it's nobody's business. And I will see you guys hopefully next Monday with a new video and maybe some more cooking stuff. I'm just so happy that I made this. Wow. Guys, slowly I'm cooking. I will see you guys next time. Bye.